Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Uh, as you can see, we have my lovely wife. Yeah, I washed my hair today. Uh, being a new mom, you gotta wash your hair when you can, and you gotta also film a video. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta do... do it in the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But while she was doing that, the used car market is going up and up and up in price. So I thought to myself, what are the most expensive cars in Edmonton on Kijiji? And not from a dealer, like just from like private sales. So some dude on his driveway selling his car. I thought, what Kasha thought how much these cars cost, and you know, in the, what ballpark we're looking at. So. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see how close she gets for, I, got, I think, like eight of these Do cars. Do you even remember? Um, I don't. So you can guess, too. So I can guess. Okay. So first off, um, I think this is on the higher end of, of the cars that we're going to have here. Okay. But this is a 2018 Ferrari 488 Spider convertible. So okay. first off... Someone has that in Edmonton? Yes. <laughs> or I guess technically it's Le Duc, but I mean, close oh, okay. enough. Um, first, so a couple hints. First off, it's 2018. It's a Ferrari, and it's a good model, the 488. Uh, and right. it's also convertible, so it's only really going to be a summer car. And even then, it's a Ferrari. You don't drive Ferraris in the winter. What do you think this guy's trying to sell for? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. We can so, try searching up the MSRP, maybe. Okay, so Ferraris are quite expensive, but it's a convertible, so that makes it a lot cheaper no, than, than SUVs. Okay. So, um, I'm thinking that this person is selling it for 80. That is very cheap. I'm thinking like three times that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 80. That, that's my guess. My guess is like, I'm going to go three times that. So that's 240. Right, 240. So what is it? It is 375. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these cars were selling for like 500,000 francs. But you can only drive it like four months. In Edmonton. But if you live in California or if you they live don't. in Italy or if you live in... Yeah, they, but I mean, I guess so that means that the people who live here... They're trying to sell it for a reason and that's the reason. They can't use it. Yeah. And I learned that you have to drive those cars like very often because if you don't, they're going to rust. If you park them outside. If you park them inside in a in a, in a they good, still might rust. Garage. You still have to drive them. Yeah, you still of have to start it. Like even your parents, yeah. they have to start their car in the winter when they're not using it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. That's bullshit. That, that's, Ano that's not a good value. For Another thing to kind of point out though is that if you're rich enough in Edmonton area to have a Ferrari, that probably means that you're only driving it for the four months anyway. Yeah. But like at that point, you're probably having stupid money, and this is clearly some stupid yeah. money to have. Ryan from Leduc, you are. Clearly wealthy yeah. or stupid. I don't know. What if it's Hi, like Lil. <laughs> Ryan Smith, ex oiler hockey player? You know, could be him. So, this is a car actually we both wanted. Um, this is a Lamborghini Urus. This is like the Audi RSQ8, but Lamborghini badged. We, I wanted this? We want the RSQ8. It's the okay. same, it's pretty much the same platform. Um, so, Lamborghini released this only a few years ago. It's an SUV, so you could use this in the winter if you wanted to. I think this is a scam. I think uh, I when I screenshotted this, it was uh, it was low on what's it called? Uh, I I was too quick to screenshot it, and so I didn't let everything load because no, 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 no. It just says it has one one image. That that that's it. I legit think this is a scam. Just thought, just thought I'd let you know. But let's <laughs> but say, say this is legit. <laughs> oh, no, I, I actually see it. Yeah, the image is one. <laughs> let's say this is legit. How much do you think this guy's trying to sell it for? Okay, so because it's an SUV and because the last one you showed me. Wait, what year is this? Uh, I don't know. So this is a scam. <laughs> likely a scam, but let's say. Okay, how much, how much do you think? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what year I'm going to guess 200000 It has to be in the last four years. That's when they came, or like five years. Okay, maybe. you know what? Because it's a scam, I'm gonna guess they're trying to sell it for 180. Okay, 180, and I'm saying 200. 360. Oh my god. Oh god, we were both very off. Yeah. I mean, I was only barely closer, but like, that's not. Yeah, you know what? You might be right. This might be a scam. So we'll just <laughs> we'll just move on to the next one. This is a car I really like. 
I don't like this at all. But you have to look at this because this is considered a luxury vehicle. It's a G63 AMG, so it's the higher, it's like, that is like the G wagon to get is the highest spec one without okay. it being a Brabus or something else, right? Uh, 2019, so it's only four years old. I'm pretty How sure. How many kilometers? Uh, I didn't take That's a screenshot okay. of that. Uh, is it automatic? I'm fairly certain, yes. It's four automatic. wheel? Four wheel drive. Um, how, many, feet how many previous owners? Probably first owner. Okay. Is it still on payments? Probably not. But maybe it is. If yeah, I, I don't think you, I don't think you can sell it on Kijiji if it's still on payments without actually having to say you know lease takeover maybe. or. Okay, so it has red interior. Interior. All wheel drive. Is it? I'm assuming it hasn't been in a car accident. Or... I'm assuming the same as well. We're, we're going to assume, like, the best case scenario okay. here. Um, so this is, like, a really popular... Um, SUV, especially. A SUV for yeah. influencers. <laughs> yes, it is. And that's the thing that a, a lot of crazy, like, good, technically good off-road vehicles are usually just used to drive to Cactus mm -hmm. Club or Starbucks by influencers inside a city. Those um, brakes, though, sorry to interrupt you, I just cannot stop looking at those brakes. They're red. You like them? Yeah, th I just, I love the look of, like, colored brakes. Like, yeah. yellow or red, I love those colors. Or yeah. blue, blue is really nice. Okay. I know that AMG has red color big. I think Audi also does um, when they have their RS trim. Okay, so I'm going to assume... <laughs> that they are selling this for uh, can you make a guess first i'll do because i don't even know what a ballpark would be to i'll do 180 okay so i'm gonna do like 210 okay i think we might be both off but let's see okay 222 <gasps> wow wow you're close uh, that's I, I feel like someone was really lazy and they just said two 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 eight eight eight. It's like their phone pin or something like that. Maybe. But um, I mean it makes it doesn't I don't, I don't, I, know, I don't know that's know. worth it. I don't, I don't really know very much about these cars. The question is like what are the even when they're brand new MSRP, right? And yeah. at the same time, is this like someone who's famous and saying, like, you know what, we're owning some very famous Edmonton person's car, which, you know, there's not really many famous Edmonton people, yeah. so uh yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know what they are, even from the dealer. And, you know, people are talking about electrification and everything. So it's going to be the last of, like, big block vehicles. So, yeah. Okay. Now, this one I find hilarious because I've worked with a lot of people who have these kind of trucks. This is a Ford, this is a 2019 Ford F550, and it's a picker truck, meaning it can be used for uh, pipe fitting to actually drop pipe sections of pipe into the ground or pick it up because, you know, you can't do that by hand. They're too heavy. 160. Oh, I'm going 200 on the nose okay. again. Wait, low mileage? Low mm -hmm. mileage. Well, it's a 2019. And because usually they have crazy miles because they're driving out to the middle of the sticks and then they're coming all I'm the way so, back. I'm still sticking with mine. One, what was it? I don't remember. <laughs> 165. <gasps> I think you yeah, guessed like think, 160, right? I think 160 or 180. We'll have to go back, but either way, you're closer. But yeah, I, this I is right. this is a, a a pretty decent deal. Um, this one's really popular in in Alberta. Alberta likes its its its, its muscle cars. Um, mm -hmm. If they if they are getting a car, it's a 21, and it's a Shelby GT500. Oh wow! Okay. So Shelby being Carol Shelby, um, very very fast car, but also very popular for running over pedestrians. So something something's wrong with the interior. You think so? Because they haven't posted a picture of it. They only yeah they it's just the outside. But for twenty twenty one, how can you mess up an interior of a two year old car? You, it's not messed up. It just maybe really like gross and dirty. You know some people. Also, this is, they just posted this recently because it's smoky. Okay, I'm gonna guess. You want to guess first? Because I don't. I don't. I'm gonna guess one fifty. 150? I'm gonna... I don't even know how much they go for them. I'm pretty sure they might be only around 100. I'm gonna guess 100. Okay, I'm gonna guess like one... I'm gonna guess... 99. 99? Yeah. Okay, so we're $1,000 between us. 180? Oh, what? That's what I was actually See, thinking. I don't even think they go for that much MSRP. Like, neither MSRP or dealer. But then again, 
Ford. I don't know anything about cars like yeah, this. Me neither, clearly. <laughs> but I've also heard that like Ford uh, and like the big kind of like American things, they're all moving towards electrification. They're starting to go away with the big heavy engines oh, and so going these away cars from are even gas. Gonna get more expensive. So they're going to even get more and more valuable and expensive. And yeah, yeah it's going to be kind of sad. Uh, this next car is a car I want. Not only because it's a wagon, but it's an RS6. Oh, the fool. Yeah, so this is, an, oh, uh, this is a 2022. Two dollars. RS6. That's how much you would pay for it. I would but not even, It's the ugliest car I've ever it's, seen. It's RS, so that means that it's like the highest trim you can get from an Audi. Yeah. Uh, it's a wagon, so it's great for having a family. It's And they're they're having a huge wave of popularity right now. Very powerful, very fast. Literally, I would rather get a minivan than ever be seen in a wagon. That's fantastic. But if you were to guess how much a luxury sports oh my car God. of Audi from 2022 would be, I, I'm guessing 150. Oh, this is the ugliest car I've ever seen. So I don't, <laughs> no offense. So I don't even know, but like if I had to guess, if okay, if it wasn't a wagon and if it was just like a regular, say it was Audi a sedan car, instead. No, ju if it was just like a regular Audi car, like you know, one that like my dad has. <laughs> I don't even know how much that one is. Um, like I don't know, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred sixty. And I said one hundred fifty. One hundred sixty-four. You're close. Oh wow, yeah. These are like, 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 let's be thank clear. You, thank you. They're fast. You, thank you. They're nice. Uh, and I think this brings us to our last one. Okay. It's an Acura from 2004. Okay, I can do better with this. I can 100% do better with this. So it's However, clean, doesn't look like it's been in an accident. It's all yeah. black. It's an Acura NSX. Those are cult classics for people who like Japanese cars. Oh, this is a classic. This is a classic, but from 2004. It's like a, it's a, it's one of those new classics from like, you know, the way, the same way that a Toyota Supra that yeah. Paul, what's his name, Paul Walker had in Fast and Furious. Yes, okay. So I'm going to assume, and they have a lot of images on it, so that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. um, 140, 150-ish. I'm going to go 180. 180? Because these are like really popular vehicles and they're really nice. I think this one I, I might have some high mileage, but let's see. 115? Yes. I think that's the cheapest one we looked at. Yeah, no. Yeah? Yeah, it is. That is the cheapest one we looked at. It's cheaper than a picker truck. But, yeah. but I mean, you can do, picker truck is a working vehicle, but yeah, anyway, not Acura NSX, very popular. I mean, they made a new one too. Yeah. So clearly, um, I, I don't know how well I did, but I think I did really well. So clearly I do know my shit. So if you do want to buy a car, ask me and <laughs> <laughs> I will help you. This does beg the question though. We looked at some of the most expensive in our area, but these are all in relatively good condition. They're usually some sort of like popular or collector's yeah. item or like something that's like not considered I very think, rare but like nice i think you need to ask me on like regular cars yeah maybe we can then have use that to gauge what our kind of market is so we'll have to look at some really interesting other choices yeah. on either Kijiji. like i don't know i think we should look at just like regular cars that like regular people can actually um Afford. oh or yeah drive. just like like can pay in cash kind of thing yeah so let's try to look at those because that's where my specialty comes from. Yeah, because your I, dad has gone I'm, through like yeah. 30 different vehicles in the last. I know, I know a good car when I see one. <laughs> Do I? No, yeah. I don't. I like, don't. Because you're also it's like, I wouldn't pay this much. I would pay this much for it. You know we, who we should have on our show? Our show that we stole from Donut. Media. <laughs> this is not our show. But we love watching though, so we're gonna do it. We should have my dad here. Yeah. And then one day we should have my brother here. And I I can I can do it and then you three will have to figure out the price. That would be fun. Let us know if you guys wanna wanna see that. My dad who has had a lot of cars, He's Andre who has a lot of who has a lot of knowledge and my brother who, who has, has both. Had, yeah, who's had both. Yeah. So yeah, let us know. 
But we should definitely do more of these because I actually like this. This is fun. Kijiji is a fun website to look through anyway. Yeah. And especially it's very popular in Edmonton because we don't have a Craigslist. We just have Kijiji and we have... We do have Craigslist. I don't know if nobody uses it. Well, I don't, I don't know anyone uses it. But we have Facebook Marketplace. That's Facebook what, Marketplace that, and Kijiji. That's what I use. That's what that's You what use most Kijiji, of. I use Facebook yeah. Marketplace. My dad uses Auto Trader. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. But anyway, give this like a, a video a thumbs up if you like it. Otherwise, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, this is something new for us. So hopefully we'll keep doing this and uh, we'll, we'll see you we next will, time if we do. We like it. So bye guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.